In the verdant tapestry of Cuban mythology, where the sacred and the mundane intertwine, there exists a revered deity known as Orishioko, an aspect of the primordial Orisha Oko. As the embodiment of farming and agriculture, Orishioko holds a profound significance in the lives of the Cuban people, particularly those who toil the land. Orishioko's origins can be traced back to the Yoruba people of West Africa, where he was known as Orisha Oko. Upon their arrival in Cuba during the transatlantic slave trade, the Yoruba brought their beliefs and traditions with them, including the veneration of Orisha Oko. Over time, the deity evolved into Orishioko, a distinct entity within the Cuban pantheon. In Cuban mythology, Orishioko is depicted as a benevolent and hard-working deity, adorned in the garb of a farmer. He carries a hoe in one hand and a machete in the other, symbolizing his mastery over the land and its cultivation. His skin is dark, reflecting the sun-kissed faces of those who labor in the fields. Orishioko's domain extends beyond the physical realm of farming. He is also associated with fertility, abundance, and prosperity. The Cuban people believe that by honoring Orishioko, they can ensure bountiful harvests, healthy livestock, and a thriving agricultural sector. In the rural communities of Cuba, Orishioko is revered as a patron deity. Farmers and agricultural workers often make offerings to him before planting their crops or tending to their animals. They believe that his blessings will bring forth a fruitful harvest and protect their livelihoods. The rituals associated with Orishioko are deeply rooted in the traditions of the Yoruba people. His devotees gather in sacred groves or temples to offer prayers, sacrifices, and libations. They sing songs in his honor, accompanied by the rhythmic beat of drums. One of the most important rituals dedicated to Orishioko is the Fiesta de la Cosecha, or Harvest Festival. This annual celebration takes place after the harvest season, when farmers gather to give thanks for the bounty they have received. They offer a portion of their crops to Orishioko, along with other gifts such as tobacco, rum, and candles. During the harvest festival, devotees of Orishioko engage in a lively procession, carrying his sacred image through the streets. They dance and sing, expressing their gratitude and asking for continued blessings in the coming year. Orishioko's influence extends beyond the realm of agriculture. He is also revered as a protector of the environment and a guardian of the natural world. The Cuban people believe that by honoring Orishioko, they can ensure the health and vitality of their land and its resources. In contemporary Cuba, Orishioko continues to be a revered deity, particularly among those who work in the agricultural sector. His image can be found in homes, farms, and temples throughout the country. He is a symbol of hard work, abundance, and the enduring connection between the Cuban people and the land they cultivate. As the sun sets over the fields of Cuba, casting a golden glow upon the ripening crops, the spirit of Orishioko lingers. He is the embodiment of the agricultural heritage of the Cuban people, a deity who ensures the prosperity of the land and the well-being of those who work it.